So let's go ahead and create a simple instruction. This will be our memo instruction. This is sort of the simplest instruction you can possibly create on the Solana blockchain. And we can actually import the get add memo instruction function that's exported from Gil. And we can basically just give this a uh, just a, a plain memo string that we want to send to the chain. And we'll say uh, GM world. And now we can just include this single transaction within our, or sorry, we can include this single instruction within our transaction. And then we're almost ready to send this to the network. Let's go ahead and log this out just to show you what the structure of this transaction actually looks like. And we'll go ahead and rerun the same code. I'll go ahead and clear my terminal, rerun the same script, full screen this. And you can see we have, again, the same signer being loaded in. We have this transaction object. We have our latest block hash again. We'll ignore that for now. And our transaction object, we have our instructions, which is an array of instructions. We're interacting with the SPL memo program. We're giving it some data. This is automatically handled under the hood when you create instructions using these types of helper functions. It will properly uh, format all the data that's required for that transaction. It does the proper encoding. It converts whatever input you put in there to a raw uint8 array, which can be sent over the wire. We have our transaction version. This can be legacy or version one. We chose legacy. And then we have our fee payer information. 